Hello, my name is Erica and welcome to another edition of Write With Me. Today is a little bit different to previous episodes because I'm going to ask you to come up with your own prompt. Um, and the reason for this is because I did some writing of my own yesterday and I have turned that into kind of a draft of a song. So I'm also going to play you the song that I have come up with. I only finished it just like five minutes ago, so don't judge me too harshly. It's still a draft um, when I actually play it for you. But I think sometimes the hard thing is working out where to go from these exercises, which are quite fun, how to get them into into something that is, you know, more tangible. So a song or, you know, a piece of, a piece of writing that you want to go further with. So I'm going to talk a little bit about my process and how I got from these writing exercises to this song. And I'm going to let you choose your own prompt and all you're going to do is write a mind map today. So just um, branches of related words off that mind map, which is what I did. And I also used an etymological dictionary for some of the mind map as well. So that's kind of a fun trick if you would like to include that. If you get stuck for ideas, that's always a good way to get your... Um, words flowing again. So the prompt that I used yesterday was enamel and you're welcome to grab my prompt and use it if you don't have one of your own but I would encourage you to maybe think of something that you've been wanting to write about and you haven't really um, you don't know how you would start writing about it so just making a mind map is often a really nice way of just getting some ideas and related words flowing related to that topic that you're interested in exploring in a song. So I'm not going to do the mind map because I already did it yesterday. So I'll just give you three minutes with a black screen and you can write for those three minutes without the distraction of my face staring off into, into the distance for three minutes. So three minutes for your mind map starts now. And three minutes is done. So I'll read you out my mind map for enamel, which is what I came up with yesterday. Um, I had tooth, decay, mug, chipped, 
tea, milk, um, coating, dipped, dripping, camping, tents, autumn, surf, sand, mollusk, um, fired, glazed, smelt, melt, crushed and glass were some of the words from my mind map. And there was a lot of stuff in there that kind of started to get my, um, my brain working. And what I ended up doing is I wrote a little three minute paragraph so just I didn't do any I didn't have anything particular in mind I just used what I was feeling after I wrote that mind map to kind of come up with some text and then I came up with a little bit of a beginning of a song and then I felt like I got a bit stuck which is something that often happens you kind of have a couple of good lines and then you you frustrated and you say ah oh, where do I go from here so I ended up writing another probably three or four three minute paragraphs just kind of following on one from the other just to get some more ideas out and that helped me get over that little blockage and kind of come up with a finished draft of this this song it probably needs a bit more work um, and some more maybe some more sections in it but it's it's kind of a nice skeleton at the moment so maybe I'll, I'll read you out this first little paragraph I wrote because that will give you a good idea of how I got from here to the song so I wrote, roll me in sand under the hot sun, bake me to a thick enameled skin that cannot crack, only chip at my corners when I am roughly handled. I am filled with cups of tea, filtering my day like a mollusk with tea and coffee, coffee made by you, tea made by me. So I was actually really trying to get this mollusk bit into this song, but I decided that there were too many competing ideas, so I'm going to save the mollusk idea for another song. And that's kind of a um, a nice little thing you you don't have to use everything you come up with so editing is a very um, good skill to have so being able to cross things out and you don't get rid of them together like all together you can save them for something else so I kind of went with the, the sand enamel theme and I will play you what I came up with now so I'm going to play you what I have been working on and I've turned the microphone of my audio recorder down for this part of the video just so that it doesn't distort when I sing, hopefully. So apologies if my talking is a little bit quieter. Um, I haven't been playing bass for very long so the um, musical part of this is quite simple. It's just two chords which is kind of nice to know that you can write a song with only two chords. So if you haven't been playing an instrument for very long that's no reason to um, shy off writing your own music even if you just take the only two chords you know and then play around with them and see what you come up with. I think that's a nice challenge to have that restriction. So here is uh, my song as yet untitled. I'm definitely going to make some mistakes so we'll see how I go. Don't judge me too harshly.
So that's what I came up with yesterday and then I finished it off today. And I don't usually write songs that are kind of like a traditional verse chorus structure, which is sometimes a bit liberating. If you feel like you're stuck, you know, you're, you're trying to do the verse chorus bridge thing and you're stuck, then maybe just let go of that that idea of having to have a traditional song form and see where you go. That that really actually frees me up, not feeling like I have to um, have to fit my um, my song into a box like that. That's just something that helps me in my writing. So I hope you enjoyed making your mind map and hearing what I have been working on. And I hope that the mind map might lead you to something musical of your own. Happy writing and I will see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.